Hey, and welcome to Star Wars 101. In this video, we're going to be talking about some of the inspiration and ideas behind the regular B-1 battle droid. I think we can all agree that the B-1 battle droids have played a huge role in the Star Wars universe, but what actually inspired their design? To answer this question, I'll be reading an interview between prequels design director Doug Chiang and Paul Duncan from the Star Wars Archives 1999-2005 through 2005 book. Doug Chiang The brief George gave was create a robotic stormtrooper. The stormtroopers were black and white, and looked like skeletons, so I thought, how about turning human musculature into mechanical forms, and see if that went anywhere. So I took the human autonomy and made it robotic. The stylized body shapes of African sculptures also influenced them. Paul Duncan, you did five drawings on January 15th. Doug Chiang, these were all explorations, and I think they're complete failures. I was trying to get all the bad ideas out to find where George wanted to go with this. Paul Duncan, but if you look at drawing number two, the rib cage is very similar to the final rib cage. And in number 5, the elongated head is very similar to the final head, and the eyes are exactly like the final design. You are finding pieces. Doug Chiang. Yes. Paul Duncan. You are working on multiple designs at the same time, but continue drawing the droids on January 25th, 26th, 31st, and then in drawing 198 on April 24th, you're close to the final form. Doug Chiang. It's very collaborative. George has exquisite taste in form language, and it's surprising how quickly he can read an idea and see if it conveys the personality and works for the story that he wants to tell. In the art reviews, he'll pick out certain things that he likes, like the eyes, the head, or the ribcage. Then it was my job to take those elements and make the design structurally sound. Paul Duncan, did you have context for the story and the environments they were to be seen in? Doug Chiang, not yet. It wasn't until a year and a half afterward that George started to share how the story all fitted together. I was designing it in its purest form where we were trying to come up with elements that weren't preconceived ideas. It was empowering for me because I wasn't there just to illustrate his ideas, but I was contributing my own ideas. The art department was formed in January of 1995, based in the attic above George's office at Skywalker Ranch, starting with Terrell Whitlatch and myself. Now, at that point in the interview, they start to dive into some other things, so we'll end it there. However, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments section about what you think of the design of the B-1 battle droids, and what you think of the process they use to form them. I personally thought it was very interesting, and I've always loved the look of these droids. So if you'd like to hear some more cool details and stories about the prequel trilogy, then make sure to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button for more videos every week. And with all that said, have a great day.